Hey guys, it's Nibscape here and welcome back to Mobile Money Makers. Today we are going to be doing Blue Dragons and this is this is something I've not really done a lot of. Obviously a little bit of Slayer, I've done a few Blue Dragons but not really tracked the profit and I'm, I reckon it might be pretty decent but first things first, we're going to jump into the requirements. Okay, so for the requirements, now technically to kill Blue Dragons you don't actually need anything. But maybe Dragon Slayer 1 for the shield, but technically you don't need anything. However, there are quite a few things I would recommend, starting with the completion of the quest Dragon Slayer 2. It's a very tough quest, but it does give you access to the Mist Guild and the Mist Guild dungeon with a very nice blue dragon spot, easy to teleport to, and so forth. This quest is a very hard one. There is a lot of requirements which are on the screen now and a lot of quest requirements which are obviously rolling down the screen as well. It's not an easy quest, it's a tough quest, there's some very hard bosses so you're going to need high combat level to do this anyway. But I highly recommend getting it out of the way. It gives you access to such great money makers as Vorkar, Rune Dragons. Hopefully this is a decent money maker, especially for how AFK I reckon it's going to be. The only other thing I would recommend is having decent melee stats. I'd say 80 plus should do you pretty well. Any higher than that, you're just going to be increasing your profit per hour. And if you have the money, I'd highly recommend getting yourself a Dragon Hunter Lance. This is a brilliant bit of gear, which is going to help you throughout all this high-level PVM content as well. It's useful for Vorkar, for Rune Dragons, even to raids. So it's definitely a decent bit of gear to get a hold of if you can afford it. And it's going to help you out here massively as well. But anyway, we're going to jump straight back into it now. So a quick look at our stats. Obviously, we've got 99 attack, strength, defense, uh, 99 hit points. And we've also got 99 prayer, which might help us out a little bit here and there. So yeah, if you're going to be doing this yourself, obviously base it off of your own stats more so than mine. Your kills per hour might be slightly different. I won't be using any combat potions or anything like that. But looking at my gear, obviously I've got the Dragon Hunter Lance. We're going to be using the Dragon Fire uh, Shield, Full Bandos, Best in Slot Helm, Primordials, Berserker Ring, uh, the Amulet of Torture as well. So yeah, we've got a pretty decent setup, so I reckon we should be getting some pretty mental kills per hour. So in my inventory, i am just got all my supplies, which we're going to track obviously for the uh, price check at the end and all that. I'm going to use 100 anti-fires, that should be enough. And obviously we've got the Myths Cape for the easy teleport. As I said already, I'm not going to be using any combat potions or anything like that. I just kind of want to chill a little bit. So uh, we'll deposit all these in and yeah, we'll get the timer started. And I guess I'll see you at the one hour mark. So we are fast approaching the uh, one hour mark. I'll just have a quick look. 59 minutes. We need to bank anyway. So by the time we do that, it would be about an hour anyway. But yeah, so far, so good. It is extremely chill. We're banking a lot. I'm pretty sure we're killing a lot of blue dragons. I and mean, hopefully the money is going to be pretty decent. We'll stop the timer as well while I'm at it. And uh, yeah, let's get on with our first price check. Exciting to, uh, excited to see how much we've made. Okay, so we're going to chuck in our last couple herbs here. And honestly, this is looking way better than I was expecting. But the first price check has come to 567,000 which is actually yeah, a lot more than I was expecting to make from this. And this is actually could turn out to be quite a decent money maker. Obviously, if you didn't have uh, Dragon Slayer 2 done and all that, you can still do Blue Dragons. Tavali Dungeon's pretty good. If you have the agility level as well, it's not too hard getting there. But your profits will probably not be quite as good as this. But this is looking uh, this is looking good and I can't wait to see what we're, what we're looking like at the two hour mark. So I've run into a little bit of uh, some technical issues. As you can see, we're stopping it at two hours and six minutes. But uh, yeah, I've already done a price check, but unfortunately it failed to record. So we're, we're going to have to do it all again. Yeah, honestly, I've, I have no idea what happened there. But the only thing I could think of is I was running Discord. I was actually in, in a chat with Discord and I, I was recording with that on. Maybe that might have affected it, but I've, I've ran Discord and filmed before. So I don't know what's happened. But anyway... The two hour price check, or just over two hour price check, comes to 1,218,000. So, uh, yeah, pretty tasty. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you at the three hour mark and hopefully no more uh, technical errors. Okay, so we might have slightly just gone over the time. I just wanted to get this last dragon killed. And, uh, yeah, let's collect his loot. What have we got? Nature runes. Nice, not too bad. But let's quickly stop the timer. Um, 
30 seconds over, it's not too bad. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go and do our price check. Okay, so chucking our last couple herbs, and the total price check comes to 1,805,000. So uh, yeah, we're looking very good. Very good money maker. It's getting better and better by the looks of things. So yeah, hopefully uh continues like this and I'll see you at the four hour mark for our next price check. Okay, so I think I've gone over a little bit of time. I just want to get this last uh last kill in quickly. Alright, let's go and uh, stop the timer. One minute over. Or oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Let's uh collect our loot and yeah, we'll do our price check. To be honest, it, first of all it was like technical errors. That was just me being two AFK and, and forgetting that I was filming a video, but uh yeah, it kind of goes to show that these are extremely uh, AFK and I'm, and I'm enjoying them. I'm kind of getting stuck in and uh, hopefully the money's decent. So you can kind of see like pretty much all of the money comes from the dragon hide, dragon bones. A fair few alcohols as well, but the three hour price check, four hour price check, sorry, comes to 2,361,000. So uh, yeah, looking looking really good. And uh, obviously I'll see you for the uh, five hour price check next. So uh Exciting stuff. Okay, so let's get this last dragon kill in and we should be roughly five hours Maybe a little bit over again, <laughs> but um, I just want to get this last one in 30 seconds again pretty decent. Uh, let's collect this uh, dragon hide and dragon bones and all that stuff And let's go in for our five hour price check and as we add our last couple items in the money's coming in decently 2,898,000 and to be honest, I haven't really, well, we haven't used hardly any supplies, just a few anti-dragon fire potions, which are basically no cost whatsoever anyway. So, uh, yeah, pretty chill. And I'll see you at the uh, final 10-hour price check, and we'll go over all the uh, profit per hour and all of that stuff. But, yeah, let's uh, see you then, I guess. So here we are on the last dragon of our 10 hours, and in what a 10 hours it's been. I don't know why, but I've really enjoyed this. Let's go stop the timer, pretty much bang on 10 hours, pretty decent. Let's grab our loot. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to see how much money we've made. I mean, it's already blown me away. I was, I was sort of expecting around about, uh, probably around 450-ish K, so it's kind of blown it out of the water for me. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what this final one comes to. So I've actually noticed that we had some uh, nature runes. We actually gathered a couple of them. So we're actually up on nature runes as well, which is pretty tidy. And uh, yeah, we're going to work out our costs first and then work out how much money we made and then work out our profit. So uh, yeah, let's go for the costs. So our total costs of the 10 hours comes to 10,515, which is basically nothing. So, and I actually stopped using anti-fires about halfway through. I realized I didn't take anywhere enough damage to, to need them. Plus, I could obviously restore my stats and health in my house portal. But uh, So yeah, that's not too bad. And we'll have a little look at how much money we've made from all of our other stuff now. And we're chucking our nature runes. And that comes to 6,136,000. Obviously, we'll minus the 10,515 from our costs. So after 10 hours of blue dragons, we ended up with a profit of 6,126,000. Which is... a uh, Absolutely crazy, way more than I was expecting to get. As you can see, we got a few alcohols, but most of the money comes from the dragon hide and the dragon bones. But uh, yeah, we're going to jump into a quick review now of the whole process. So for the review, first things first, as always, we're going to go over the profit per hour. And the profit per hour was 612,600. So as I've said multiple times throughout this video, it's way more than I was expecting. And to be honest extremely competitive for how AFK and how easy it is and pretty much how low risk it was. So uh, yeah, we'll go with the AFK rating now. And for the AFK rating, I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 5. Extremely AFK. The only things that kind of let it down slightly is just how fast I was killing them. Sometimes I was 2, 3 hitting them almost. And uh, yeah, it, was, it ended up quite a lot of banking, a fair bit of like running. So overall, extremely AFK, not quite perfect though. Uh, for the mobile rating, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 as well. To be honest, it was extremely easy to do on mobile. The only thing that kind of let down ever so slightly on the mobile side of things is maybe it's a little bit awkward clicking on the, the loot and 
dicking about. There's a fair bit of clicking involved, like running to the bank, banking, depositing all the items and so forth. But overall, this is a very, very good money maker. The profit compared to the AFK rating is extremely good. And I, I'm, to be honest, I would probably do this again if I if I need to do something nice and chill. Definitely worth doing. And for me, I really enjoyed it as well. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just because you're like slaughtering dragons extremely fast, but it felt really good. So yeah, I highly recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, all of that helps out my channel massively. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace out.